Okay, what I'm going to show you here is something that I ran across in a little bit of research. I found out why. I don't know if it's a, a bug or it's intentional upon uh, the creators of PowerPoint or what. But let me show you what happens here. I'm going to put in a title. We'll just call it title. And I'm going to put in some text down here content some more content okay now so I've got these two objects and I want to select them both alright now if you do control G which is for grouping selected objects you get that error bell. Alright. Won't let you do it. Alright. This one here says title. That's a placeholder box. Uh, this one down here is a regular text box that I added by going to insert and text box. And then I went down and I created it like that. Okay. So. The point being when it comes to the grouping you can have a placeholder and a regular one that you created and if you try to group them by pressing control G guess what it ain't gonna let you do that either now if I go to a blank slide that I created and I say I want to insert a uh, text box and we'll call this one title box and press control C and then control V and so now I have two boxes two text boxes selected them both press control G and it groups them and this is what's going on these two text boxes are what's known as placeholders even though once you type something in they're still a placeholder as far as PowerPoint is concerned and PowerPoint will not allow you to group placeholders okay so if you want to create something three different boxes and then group them together you better not be using placeholders because it's not going to let you do it which I would think it would be a bug but uh, maybe not but if uh, being a former software engineer myself the first thing that I would do in that program would be the minute you type something into a placeholder I would automatically strip that object of its placeholder status so that you could then group with it. This is uh, this is crazy in my opinion. But the solution is just create a blank slide, add your text boxes and what other type of objects you wish to use and perhaps group together and you won't have that problem. So Microsoft, when you uh, make that little bell sound telling us there's a problem, it certainly would be nice if you'd throw up a little error message telling us what the hell the problem is so we can go fix it and not have to guess at what the problem might be. Okay, for those that are new to PowerPoint and maybe just don't realize, when you create a new PowerPoint presentation, the initial slide that it creates, uh, these um, two objects here, uh, those are what is known as a placeholder and uh, you've got to add something in by clicking on it and then typing in whatever it is you want and essentially let me show you something real quick here if you go to add a new slide okay there's all kinds of different kinds of slides that you can create uh, these are all template type 
slides and they've all got placeholders on them that you then will essentially put into them what it is that you want. So the only way for you to be able to group objects is to pick a blank slide and then add whatever kind of objects you want onto that slide and then you can group them. But if you start with any of these template slides here, uh, those objects that are on that particular slide are placeholders. They're meant to guide you into what you want. Unfortunately, because of their status as a placeholder, PowerPoint will not allow you to include them in a group of objects. That's the problem. Okay, so that's it. If you like the video, please like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.